Hello and welcome to CMG video. Today I'm going to show you how to get access to the Bose amp that's causing problem in the Audi Q7. And uh, my wife uh, Rosa is going to video and uh, this is my first video and there will be many more to come. Okay, let's start. Okay, first real quick, she's going to zoom in. These are basically the tools that you will need to access the amp, and I've pre, um, I've pre taken out the parts just so to make the video quick. The first thing here's the fiber, the famous fiber optic loop that we will be using to bypass the amp. Flathead head screwdriver, a T25 torque, and we also have a 30 bit that we'll be using, and it is a 10, oh, yep, 10 millimeter socket that we'll be uh, using. And this is just a screwdriver to connect the 10 millimeter socket. Okay, now let me put these away. The first thing we will do is remove the boot panel. Second thing is here's the tray. That, yeah, I'm just going to put the tools up and because I have a PlayStation and a DVD um, player. Everything is connected, so I'm just going to move the tray a little bit. Okay. And uh, now we have access to most of the panels. The first panel that we're going to take out is this panel, which is overlays like that. And what we do is we'll take the, the T30, T30 um, tech screw. And there's four screws here, two here, two here. And like I said, I've taken them out already. And once you take them out, and you'll see that there's four of these long screws. Okay, and the only thing that you need to be careful of here is underneath this, there are four, uh, there are, sorry, two little washers. And just be careful that you don't drop them in the compartment. So you see two little washers there. Okay, so like I said, I've pre taken out the the molding so I'm just going to lift it just to show you so this is the first step you do and just put this to the side to get out of your way now the next thing you do is you have to take out this base plate and she's just zooming in um, okay so this base plate which is part of the boot is on top of this uh, um, plastic panel here and uh, like I said I pre taking it out you just uh, you gotta be careful when you take this out. So this one comes out with this four screws. I don't know if she can come. She can come in and zoom. Can you come in and zoom the, the four screws here? There's one, two, three, four, and this is a a Tex 25 tool. And if you just unscrew them there, and like I said, I've taken them out, and that's basically the the, the four screws that you need to take out. And this, once those four screws are taken out, you can just pop this up. I'll just do it to demonstrate. Like I said, this is usually underneath this molding. So I'm just going to move it to the side for now. And what you do is you just pop this up and it comes out real easy, real gentle. You don't have to put a lot of force into it, but it just comes out real gentle. So what you do is just take this out and if you want, you can unplug the, the connection. There's just two little clips on the side and that's it and you just move this to the side again to get it out, out of your way okay now the next thing that you really should take out is is this access panel here on the side and you just take a flathead screwdriver pop it open and then this connect which is the 12 volt uh, connection which is which is which is uh, which is here. This is a 12 volt connection, and it just connects like this on the side, and you just unplug it, and also the lift um, tailgate connection. Just take this again, put it on the side, and get it out of your way. So once that's out of your way, the only thing is don't forget that there is a connection here. There's a, a, a boot light underneath here. So once you remove this panel. Make sure you get that light, because if not, you're going to break that wire. Okay, so so once that molding is done, 
Now we're going to go to the front plastic of the car and she's going to swing around and uh, record the plastic. Okay, and this panel, it's really easy if you stand here and this is the panel you're going to be taking out. And really, it's got, it has no bolts, it just has clips on it. And I'm going to show you the easy way to take this out is if you press down here and put your hand, if you press down here and just, you know, with your fingers you'll grab the plastic and then also, she so can back up a little bit just so you see, if you grab this corner here and just slightly pull, the panel should come out. And as you see, the panel is really not attached with any screws, it just clips in here and then it's got clips. I think there's already a clip missing here, but it's got four clips, plastic clips. Again, if you just, it's it's connected with the seatbelt, so all really what you should do is just move it to the side and get it out of the way. Just so it gives you access to the amp. Now, if she swings around, if she swings around, I'm going to show them the access panel that needs to be taken out. I'm just going to slide in here. She's just so it gives me a little bit more room. Okay, that's my tool kit. Okay, now, now we're going to get access to the Bose amp. The only thing that's holding this in place is there is a uh, screw here, and again, you can use the T25 uh, um, tool to remove that. So once you remove that, that uh, screw, uh, and you won't be able to remove this panel without removing that screw, you can just press down here, press down here, and here, and then unlatch it because it's just again it's just held up with some clips and if you can see here if she can zoom in here in the back you can see that there is one two three three clips there that are being held and then it oops just to the side and then it just latches in with another couple of clips here on this side so again this is not really rocket scientist it's real easy to remove and again it's attached there's the seatbelt here, and if you remove the seatbelt, you can actually move this pretty much out of the way. So, we have that out of the way now. Now, if you look here, here's our, what we've been looking for, which is the Bose amp. Um, and the Bose amp sits on top of an uh, aluminium plate. And the, I found out the hard way. The easiest way to remove this is by removing the plate, not the amp, because the amp is um, connected with two screws. Two here, I don't know if you can be able to zoom around the back. Can you see that? There you go. There's two screws here, and then there's one here in the back, in the corner, which is really, really hard to reach and to, to get to. So, my advice is to remove the aluminum panel which is only has three screws one here one here and then one here in the back this is the hardest screw to take out because you don't want to drop it into the compartment there okay so I, like I said I've pre taken it out and I'm gonna pull the amp out with the, the bracket I've taken out the screws and you just lift it and just slide it out carefully because you gotta remember there's fiber optics all over the car here okay and again as you can see, I'm going to show you the Bose amp and exactly what I said. It's connected by three screws, tech screws. So I've got one there, and there's two here. And once you have the plate out, it's easy to access that screw. And this she is the Bose amp that's causing all the issues. Okay? And now, the connections of the Bose amp. Here's the connection here, the main connection with all the power. This is the fiber optics uh, connector. And like I said, I've taken it out before. And what I'm going to show you is how to remove this main plug, which is just a purple connector. If Once it's connected, and I'm going to connect it just so everybody gets an understanding how to disconnect it. Yeah, let me put that in. Come on, my boy. There we go. And now it's connected on there. In the auto way... Uh, um, in the way to remove the connection is you just press down here there's a little clip there but you just press down 
and you slide the purple lever over like that and it should pop out. And the same goes for the fiber optics. As you can see, I have the loop already connected, but the fiber optics loop connection is real easy again. There's a clip on the side and it just slides out. Okay? And so here's the fiber optics. You can see, I think she just got it. There's a red blinking light there. That means that's searching for the fiber optics loop. And like I said, that goes there. And this is what's causing all the problems. So by taking this fiber optics loop and putting in there, it bypasses the amp. connect it and now the fiber optics loop it's a continuous loop and it goes through all the other devices and so now that the amp is not connected the MMI system should work and I have my keys and she's gonna swing around you want to swing around just to make sure show the, the viewers that the fiber optics loop does work I know there's a lot of glare, but just to show you. And all the devices on the MMI will work. Well, that are working. Obviously, this is info, car, radio, oh, sorry. car, media, radio. Telephone, everything works. The sat nav, okay. Um, so again, it's real important that you get one of those fiber optic loops. And I've, I've also posted a manual online that gives you the part number. Um, now, to put everything back, it's basically the reverse order um, as you taking it out. Um, the amp, obviously, I haven't have a, I don't have a replacement amp, and I'm gonna have to source a, a new amp. But uh, I'm just gonna leave the loop in and um, uh, run with it for now. Uh, another uh, note is that some users, some users, some users, some um, some Audi owners have been complaining about um, the um, car not starting, and um, the issue is that. The Bose amp is draining the battery and it doesn't stop. So, and it was happening to, to my car. So what I have done is I removed all the power connections from the amp. As you can see, the amp is not going to be installed on there. And I've tested it, and the car starts up every day now. It uh, doesn't drain the battery. So it must be a connection with um, the Bose amp that it's not starting. Again, thank you for watching my video. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it was helpful to everybody. And stay tuned because I'm going to be producing a series of videos. Um, you know, some of the um, do it yourself on the Audi. Um, also, some of the modifications. I'm going to be showing you know how to modify the grill. You know, less than 30 pounds. I'm going to show you how to clean out the sunroof vents. So stay tuned, and uh, if you get any questions, uh, feel free to email, email me at cm, cmg.video at hotmail.co.uk. Again, and um, thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.